Hello, dear students. I'm happy that uh, uh, I'm here with uh, one another topic about the adding and subtracting fraction uh, with you. I hope you are doing well and enjoy learning from these videos. Today, as I said before, our uh, lesson is about adding and subtracting fractions. As we studied our past lesson, the fraction, and now we know the fractions, the types of fractions, the kind of fractions, and now we are going to learn how to add and subtract these fractions. Uh, for adding of fractions, we have two rules. Uh, the one rule is for like fractions, and the second rule is for unlike fractions. As we said before, like fractions are those fractions that their denominators are the same. And unlike fractions are those fractions that their denominators are not the same. For the denominators that are the same, the addition and subtraction is too much easy because we're choosing the denominators, the ones, and we adding the numerators with each other and the answer is here for this example so as you can see we have the 4 over the 6 plus 2 over the 6 equal to as I said before the denominators was equal so we don't need anything more so just we taking the ones of the denominators and adding the denominators with each other from these two six the ones come here and four plus two comes here so six over the six is the answer of this question and you know that six over six show has the one one whole things Another example, five, 3 up on 5 plus 4 up on 5 equal to, as you see, here is again the denominators are the same, so we can add just the denominator, so it's 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 over the 5 or 7 up on 5 easily. But the second rule is for unlike fractions. As I said to you before, we can directly add the unlike fractions. Unlike fractions, those fractions that the denominators are not the same. So for this, we have rule to first make them equal denominators, then add the denominators. So for this, it's easy. As you can see here, so the denominator of the first fraction is 7 and the denominator of second fraction is 6. So for this, we're writing the denominator of the second under the 7 and the 7 under the 6 or we can say that we're multiplying the denominator and denominator of the first fraction with the denominator of second fractions as I did here. Like this I mentioned here, you can see 4 times 6, 7 times 6 that the result is here. Oops, sorry, I made a mistake. I'm going to clean this. Okay, and uh, uh, and you can see uh, the operation his addition I wrote it. Uh, the second fraction is 3 upon 6 and I did uh, I did the uh, multiplication of 7 but 3 and 6. So 3 times 7 and 6 times 7, the first denominator. Now we are multiplying these numbers. So 4 plus times 6 is equal to 24 and 7 times 6 you know that it's 42 plus 3 times 7 is 21 and 4 ta 6 times 7 is equal to 42. So now, did you mention here, I made the denominator equal to 42, 42. I changed the unlike fraction to like fraction. So it's easy now for addition as the first rule we had. It. So from these two 42, we're taking the ones and writing here as I wrote, and we adding the denominators with each other, 24 plus 21 equal to, and you know that 4 plus 1 is equal to 5, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, so 44 plus 21 is equal to 45 up on to 42. Okay, dear students, so this is next examples for more practicing. Uh, here I have another unlike fractions with the 4 upon 7 plus 2 upon 3. Now uh, what I should do here, I'm going to solve this with you. So for the, as I said before, the denominator and denominator of the first fraction should be multiplied with the second. So for this I'm going to write that 4 
times 2. The second denominator is 3 upon the denominator 7 times 3. It means the nominator and denominator with the same number. So the operation between them is plus, so 2 over the 3, so 2 times the first nominator is 7 over the, so 3 times first nominator 7. As you can see here, so it's very easy. Now I'm going to multiply these two. So for the first fraction, you know that 4 times 3 is equal to 12. And 7 times 3 is equal to 21 plus 2 times 7 is equal to 14 upon the 21. Here, I made the denominators equal to 21, 21. So now easily I can add this. I'm going to choose from the equal denominators, the 1, 21. And I'm going to add these denominators. So 12 plus 14. And you know that 12 plus 14 is equal to 26 over the, oh sorry, I made a mistake, let me clean it. Twenty six over the twenty one. Easily we found it. So in here for second, I'm going to practice one more uh, example. In here, I want to make my pen a little bit uh, small for the cause of places. So six over the eight is our first fraction. So I'm going to write six over the eight. The second denominator, so it's times 2, second denominator is 9, it's equal to, the sec, uh, sorry, it's not equal to, uh, okay, I, here I should write it, addition, not equal, because we have the second uh, fraction as well, so it's addition. So, uh, 4 over the 9, the second fraction, 4 over the 9, times 2, 8. 8 means the first denominator, to, so times the 8, both of them with same denominator, it's equal to. Now, after multiplication, we are going to write the uh, product of them. Uh, 6 times 9 is equal to, you know that, uh, 6 times 9 is equal to 54 over the, 8 times 9 is equal to 71. Uh, is it 71? Uh, no. It's not 71, yes, it's 72. I wrote a mistake. Thank you that you are careful about it. So plus 4 times 8, 30, 2 over the 9 times 8 is equal to again 72 equal to. So for now, the denominators are the same, 72 and 72. And for this, we are going to write the, take the one denominators and add the denominators with each other, like 54 plus 32. After addition of these denominators, the answer will be 4 plus 2, 6, and 5 plus 3, 8, over the 72. Okay, students, so here was two another examples that I worked together, and I hope that you learned the addition of the unlike fractions very well. 
Here we can for subtractions of uh, fractions. Uh, the rules for both of them are the same, just the operation has difference. As we added that in addition, uh, the uh, subtraction is also the same way, the same rule. It doesn't have any changes. For those uh, fr fractions that the denominators are the same, we getting the ones here and subtracting the denominators from each other. So 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 over the 8. Or if we write the simple form of this fraction, it's about the 1 over the 4. That you know that 2 and 8 are both on table 2. And also another example that I'm going to do it for you. So as you can see, the denominators are the same six. So I'm going to write the ones here, six, and adding the numerators with each other. Uh, sorry that I wrote here addition, but here is subtraction. It means I'm going to subtract the five, uh, the three from the five. So I'm, I'm subtracting the denominators from each other. So five, uh, three minus Five is equal to two, and the denominator is six. So two upon six equal two. Again, uh, these two numbers are at the table of two. We can write one over the three in simplest forms. So let me make this correct because um, here should be a subtraction, not addition. So uh, uh, students, please. Uh, take this, take the signs, subtraction, minus. Here is another uh, examples. So as you can see, again, the denominators are the same. So from the same denominators comes the ones. And we're subtracting the denominators from each other. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 over the 9. And here is again another example. It's also addition, but let's do it because the same denominators, the difference between the addition and subtraction of fractions is nothing. Just as we did the fractions, we're doing the, as we did the subtraction, we're doing the addition, or as we're doing the rules for addition, we have four subtractions as well. So 24 plus 12 is equal to 36. 24 plus 12 is equal to 36. And you know that when the denominator and denominator are the same, it show has four has the one whole things. So the answer is one. Uh, for next, now we are on subtracting of those fractions with different denominators. And you know that the rule with it's the same with additions as you can see here 4 over the 7 minus 3 over the 6. We multiplying the both fractions, denominator and denominator, the first fraction with the second and the second with the first. And we add after the multiplication, we subtracting things and getting the answer as we did in addition. So now I'm going to do the ones for you. The next one is your homework. 4 times 3 over the 6 times 3 equal to 2. Sorry, here is not equal. Here is uh, subtraction. Uh, 2 over the 3 times 6 equal to so for 12 over the uh, 18 minus 12 over the 18 so this is 12 minus 12 12 minus 12 over the 18 is equal to 0 over the 18. Okay, dear students, this was for subtraction. I hope you enjoyed. Your homework is page 19 of your math books, exercise 3.1. Solve the addition and subtraction questions in your notebooks and see you in next lesson. Thank you very much for your attention.